Sotha Seal said he had information meant only for Rightmaster Aikisis' ears. He asked me to send the Rightmaster to see him when he returned from traveling the Dreaming Cave. We also need to convince Sotha Seal to share the news he brought with us. But without the Rightmaster, he may decide to simply depart. Like all the members of the Dark Elf Tribunal, he can be very enigmatic. Maybe you should talk to him. How unusual. The Sigics know better than to disturb me in my private study. And the Right Master has kept me waiting for an inordinate amount of time. That leads me to a single conclusion. The Right Master has not returned from the Dreaming Cave. That is unfortunate. I enjoyed my infrequent talks with Aikesis. Ah, well. Now, if you don't mind, I have preparations to make before I take my leave. I am and I did. But the Right Master is no longer in a position to receive that information. Now, once again, I ask. A demand? Interesting. Then hear my words. Nocturnal stole a secret I thought well hidden. I developed a technique for utilizing life energy as a source of power. I suspect she will use that technique to amplify the Crystal Tower. The Crystal Tower exists on multiple planes of reality simultaneously and possesses capabilities we do not fully understand. We must assume that Nocturnal's options are infinite. I suggest you find Valserin and inform her of this development. I find it hard to believe that Nocturnal, Mephala, and Vile worked together for as long as they did. Daedric princes aren't known for their willingness to share. With the heart, Nocturnal moves one step closer to gaining control of the tower. Transparent Law. The crystal at the top of the Crystal Tower anchors its metaphysical structure to all realities. With the heart, she can restore the crystal, utilize its capabilities, and make herself master of the tower. The tower straddles every reality. Its true purpose remains lost to time, but I theorize it was created as a watchtower of sorts. A doorway to everywhere. It stands to reason, then, that the tower is the key to omnipresence. Imagine a Daedric Prince who can exert influence throughout the multiverse at the exact same moment in time. Nocturnal could become infinite. If she accomplishes that, then her power would multiply accordingly. She would be without limits. I find it hard to believe that Nocturnal, Mephala, and Vile worked together for as long as they did. Daedric princes aren't known for their willingness to share. With the heart, Nocturnal moves one step closer to gaining control of the tower. Transparent Law. The crystal at the top of the Crystal Tower anchors its metaphysical structure to all realities. With the heart, she can restore the crystal utilize its capabilities, and make herself master of the tower. 
The tower straddles every reality. Imagine it. You need to go to Valser and study right now. There's a problem. He's really tall. Knight of Meridia, stay and talk with me. and stop! You're going to kill him! Ugh, fine! Let our friend finish the interrogation! This is ridiculous. I had no wish to see Aikesis harmed. He was my friend. He tried to save my daughter. If my wife wants a battle, though, tell her I'm ready to oblige. What are you talking about? Nocturnal, Mythala, and Clavicus Vile are partners in this. That's why our three sects formed the Court of Bedlam. Three Daedric princes working together to make the world a better place. No, that can't be right. Why would she betray the Triad like that? Unless... You must let me leave, Arteum. I need to contact my prince. And I need to return to Somerset. But it looks like we're both going to be disappointed. Which is why I have to warn my prince. Look, help me and I'll help you. You're going to need my prince if you have any hope of taking on Nocturnal. Consider it a necessary alliance. Do we really need to go over this again? Mathala and the Triad sought places of power. The Clockwork City, the Crystal Tower. Anything they could use to change the rules of reality and remake the world. They wanted to make things better. I still only have your word that my prince has been betrayed. But I'll play along. Daedric princes aren't used to working together. If Nocturnal acquired the heart of transparent law, I could see how she might then decide to go her own way. I was under the assumption that the Triad needed to work together to take control of the Crystal Tower. That was always my understanding. To attempt this on her own, Nocturnal must have found another source of power. The Crystal Tower has its own protections, though we know those have been weakened with the removal of the Heart of Transparent Law. Still, we tried to acquire the Resolute Diamonds, the Sapiarch's keys to the Tower. I didn't say that. Nocturnal has the Heart, and her power as a Daedric Prince. It won't be easy but she'll be able to enter the Crystal Tower. You, on the other hand, will need help. Which brings me back to my offer. Make an alliance with my prince. What court of Bedlam? You dealt with Clavicus Vile's Earl, and I'm your prisoner. The court is in shambles, just like the Triad, if what you say is to be believed. But beware Nocturnal's champion. Her Earl won't fall as easily as Till Collar or I. Lathan is a shell of the man I fell in love with. We can't trust anything he says. No, we have to deal with this ourselves. And the key is reaching the Crystal Tower before Nocturnal can accomplish a similar feat. Just another horrible bit of news in an otherwise horrible situation. All the more reason for us to get to the Crystal Tower. Last I heard, 
The Sapiox were attempting to rapidly attune two new tower sentinels. We need to see if they succeeded. Likely at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, northeast of Lilandril. The ritual usually requires a full year and a day to complete, but the Sapiox reluctantly agreed to try to speed up the process. We should head out immediately. Oriandra, tell Darian to meet us at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, and keep an eye on Lathan while we're gone. Boy, Hail, mighty warrior! Ah, a fellow warrior. Come, let us talk. No more stalling! Tell Raz what's happening at the Crystal Tower, now! Climb the Watchtower and see for yourself! Why did you tell him that? His teeth were very sharp, Dumbledore. The Crystal Tower isn't supposed to do that, yes? The tower started glowing right before you arrived. Raz was nearby when he heard that the Sapiarchs were up to something at the Crystal Tower. This one didn't expect the tower to start glowing. I hope this is the work of the Sijiks, yes? No, this is something worse. Raz feels it in his paws. Daedric Princess. Raz hates those things. 
This one supposes that if Nocturnal takes control of the Crystal Tower, that would be bad for Somerset, yes? So that would be a yes on the bad for Somerset question. Infinite. A number so big it makes Raz's head swim just trying to imagine it. So what should we do about this? You have a plan to save the day, yes? So that is what the Sapiarchs are doing at the gatehouse. Raz should have known. Magic makes this one's fur stand on end. All right. Let's go to the gatehouse and see how the Sapiarchs are coming along before something else happens to the tower. The tower! What's happening? Raz thinks this is bad. Come, my friend! To the gatehouse! Time is running out. The Sapiarchs still haven't completed their ritual, and now Nocturnal has launched an attack against them. I sent Darien and Razumdar to defend the Sapiarchs, but the Daedra keep on coming. I'll stay here and try to assist with the ritual. You go and help Darien and Razumdar. We need to buy the Sapiarchs enough time to attune themselves to the Diamond Keys. While the Sapiarchs here work to attune themselves to the Resolute Diamonds, other Sapiarchs perform their parts of the ritual at the north and south platforms. Nocturnal has sent Daedra to disrupt the ritual platforms. You need to stop them. Stay focused, Sapiarch. We'll deal with the Daedra.
finish the ritual. We will keep you safe. the ritual. We will keep you safe. Rise will finish up here. The energy. Something feels wrong. No! I, I think it's working! No! Damn it! No! <sighs> that was unexpected, yes. The Sapiarchs are dead. Now what do we do? I knew this wasn't going to work. Speeding up the Sapiok ritual was a long shot at best. We should have had the Conclave working on a solution all along. The Sigics could have figured out how to tune the Resolute Diamonds. You're right. Even without the Right Master, we can still do this. I can take the Resolute Diamonds and return to Arteum immediately. But... but... well... I'm kind of at a loss as to what we should do next. I'll take the diamonds to Arteum and get the Conclave working on them immediately. Meanwhile, I need you to go to Eleanor and warn the Proxy Queen. She has to make sure Somerset is prepared for the worst, just in case. Darian, gather the diamond keys. The Sigic Order will do what the Sapiox could not. No, I'm done with the Sigic Order. Too many deaths, not enough action. Raz will meet our friend in Alinor. You two do what you must. Raz will meet you in Alinor. This one?
See something you like? Feel free. Trusting our dead to the hands of Nebara. No a charter. The depravity of Daedric worship is running rampant through our lands. Look around! Anyone gathered here could truly be a Daedric-loving fiend. Hairs but like a comet's day, soul alive with love and joy under pregnant. This one has seen many bizarre things working as an eye of the queen, but this may take the moon sugar cake. A strange dog walked up and spoke to Raz. That is what Raz said, a dog. It spoke words as clear as day, 
It gave me a message to give to you. The dog said you should meet it in the gardens because it had something important to tell you. Yes, yes, Raz will go warn the Praxi Queen. That would be for the best. Just be careful, my friend. This one does not trust dogs, especially ones that talk. Talking animals, so unnatural, yes? You again. All right, follow me. It's me, Barbus. Let's talk. Vile told me to find the mortal flea that continues to pester him and deliver a message. He's terrible with mortal names, but I immediately thought of you. Glad to see that my intuition's as sharp as ever. Oh yeah, I've got a message for you. My master's less than pleased with the way Nocturnal treated him. He wanted to be the first one to betray the Triad. Look. He wanted me to make sure to tell you he's not upset about the whole Vivek thing. At least, not anymore. Probably wants to make some kind of a deal. That's his bread and butter, you know. You can do what you want. But I figure you're even more angry with Nocturnal for the way she evaporated your friend and took the heart of transparent law. He told me you could find him in the caves just north of the city. Just be nice to him when you get there. He's still a little upset over how the Triad broke up and all that. My master has been livid since Nocturnal betrayed him. That's why I've been keeping my distance. Do me a favor and try not to make him any more irritated when you talk to him. I'd hate to see something bad happen to you. Oh wait, no I wouldn't. What? You never heard of the Daedric Prince of Bargains? The room...
Enough, Silary. These mysterious deaths are our business to solve, not yours. Look at that! You can follow directions. My master's waiting for you deeper inside. Even in death they serve. So, the Hound found you. Good. Let's discuss an arrangement, shall we? Don't let these crumbled husks trouble you. I needed to vent my frustrations, and my loyal followers were close at hand. Yes. Yes, I did. I assumed Barbus would have made that clear. I admire your persistence almost as much as I hate the fact that you constantly oppose me. Still, Nocturnal couldn't dispatch you, which indicates you may be useful to me after all. We have a common cause now, you and I. A common enemy. Nocturnal turned her back on our alliance. She betrayed the Triad. Worse, she betrayed me. Consider my next words carefully before you respond. I can grant you access to the Crystal Tower. You killed my Court of Bedlam, Earl. You dispatched our pet sea slow. I hate you, but I also respect you. And I need your help to gain vengeance against Nocturnal. So I ask you this. How could you not trust me? Isn't the enemy of my enemy my friend? Upstairs, you'll find a key. With it, your Sigic friends can get you to my realm, where I can direct you to the Crystal Tower. Getting inside them? For that, you'll need the Resolute Diamonds. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. Haven't you learned anything? The Crystal Tower exists in all realms. 
In my realm, however, there is no gatehouse to block your way, just the tower's own defenses. And for that, unfortunately, you'll need the diamond keys. A problem, certainly, but one I'm sure you can overcome. Perhaps another prince will be willing to help you. I leave the details of that to you. Just remember this favor I have provided when you restore the tower and save your beloved Nern. I'm sure something of value will suggest itself when the time is right. I promise that whatever I ask for as compensation, it will not unduly cost you. Anyway, no more than you can afford. On that, you have my word. news. The Golden Knight has taken matters into his own hands. He set Lathan free and returned with him to Somerset. Who knows what all that time in Meridia's realm did to Darien's mind. He couldn't have gotten off the island without Lathan's help. And Lathan needed his assistance to circumvent the wards placed upon him. I need you to find out what they're up to. I sense Darien in Somerset's northwest region, but Lathan's magic prevents me from identifying a more precise location. Please, I need your help. The Resolute Diamonds are proving more difficult to unravel than I imagined, and there's no one else. I'll find you as soon as the diamond keys are ready to use.
Hurry up, Lathan. They could find us at any moment. Something's wrong. Wrong? Why doesn't that surprise me? Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfectly good explanation why Lathan and I busted out of Artaeum and came to this charming little hideaway. Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfect... The intentions of the Sijix are good, but we're running out of time. From what we saw at the gatehouse, Nocturnal has already taken control of the Crystal Tower. Drastic action is called for, and Lathan's agreed to put us in contact with Mephala. Not you, too. I got enough doubt and dirty looks back in Arteum. Look, Mephala was betrayed by Nocturnal. It stands to reason she might want to help us. And we could certainly use the power since I still can't make contact with Meridia. I knew I could count on you. As for Lathan, you should talk to him. We can make him pay for his crimes later. Right now, we need him to help us or we could lose everything. If you want to return me to Arteum, I won't resist you. But first, I need to find out if the rest of Mythala's followers are safe. Let me learn their fate, and then I'll submit myself to your mercy. I am, but I'm surprised that you'd go along with that. If we can get inside and reach Mythala's shrine, I can attempt to make contact with my prince. Not exactly, but it's obvious to me that you believe that's what's happened. I need to see for myself. In any event, there's no harm in approaching Mythala's shrine. I'm just a little concerned that it took me so long to open this door. It should have been a simple matter to identify myself and unlock the door. But the spells in place resisted me. It's as if I've lost my status as Mythala's Earl. Or as if someone or something interfered with the place's defenses. I spent years on that damnable island. Do you think the Sijic's magic could long hold someone who knows the intricacies of the place? With the Right Master's death, the Order is in chaos. Only Val even realized I was missing. I'm just guessing, mind you. But I imagine someone with the abilities of a Daedric Prince, who possesses the heart of transparent law, could walk into the Crystal Tower as easily as you or I could cross the threshold of an inn. My prince deals in secrets and hidden lore. If anyone can activate the keys to the Crystal Tower, she can. That was our original plan, before you intervened. After I acquired the diamonds from the Sapiarchs, I was supposed to bring them to Mathala. How did this happen? My people should have been safe within these walls. Nocturnal's been eliminating the sex of the other princes. Are you surprised she'd turn on her former allies? I recruited most of these men and women. I was responsible for them. Scout ahead and find the shrine. I'll stay with Lathan until he's ready to move on.
It pains me that it had to end this way. But my mistress will not be denied. Butcher! How dare you pretend to care about the men and women you slaughtered? Every action I performed was in the service of Nocturnal's grand plan. Lathan, she has my Dawnbreaker. Ask her if she'll kindly return it. I never trusted Nocturnal's Earl. A dark elf in the court of Bedlam? It was unprecedented. Her daggers are as sharp as her temper, so we must tread carefully here. Nocturnal's champion is reckless and quick to anger. We can take advantage of that. Perhaps get her to slip up and reveal what's going on here. There's a scent of magic that makes my blood run cold. Nocturnal's magic is at work here. See how the Yagra have mutated into creatures of shadow? We need to follow Nocturnal's Earl. Harry her. Make her so mad she tells us everything. Hopefully, one of us will live long enough to use the information. Champion of Nocturnal, what magic is this? I've never seen anything like it. This was always the plan. Nocturnal's plan. So Nocturnal did betray my mistress. Your mistress is weak. Come with me, and I'll show you what true power looks like. Lathan, no! Come on! We can't let them get away!
This magic, it destroys everything. What good is power if there's nothing left to rule? This is what the court wanted all along. An end to the old ways. A new beginning. I won't be party to the death of innocence. I won't... Let him go. Be silent, knight, or I'll let you taste the blade you once carried. I wish to speak to your friend now. Look how the pearls shimmer with dark energy. Isn't it beautiful? My mistress offers a small mercy. Allow her to finish her work, and she'll make the deaths of the Sidjiks fast and painless. But if you interfere, you will all suffer before you die. The Seaslode trinkets? It was an easy matter for my mistress to alter the magic, to use their ability to siphon life energy and funnel it into the Crystal Tower. In the end, your own world will provide the power that spells its doom. Nern's destruction isn't a goal. It's just a means to an end. The Crystal Tower grows more powerful with every iota of energy produced by Nern's death. And with that power, Nocturnal will remake all reality into a perfect darkness. Mephala and Clavicus Vile are fledglings compared to my mistress. Nocturnal existed before this reality was even imagined, and she will ride its destruction into the next. This isn't an end, it's a new beginning. Good luck with that. Now stay out of the way, or death will be the least of your concerns. Nocturnal must pay for betraying my mistress, but the magic of the Abyssal Pearls appears to do more than just siphon our life energy. It obscures my connection to Mathala. This shrine may be blocked, but I may know another way. While a consecrated shrine offers the best conduit to a Daedric Prince, there are other means. In the back chambers, I have a way to communicate privately with my prince. I should be able to open a connection there. She's gone. I no longer sense her presence here. The Abyssal Pearls, however. The court helped seed them throughout Somerset. I can tell the Sidgics where to find them before Nocturnal activates them all. First, though, we must contact Mathala. Darian. Go the other way and meet us in the back chambers. We want to make sure Nocturnal's Earl didn't leave us any surprises. I'll go. But if this is just a ploy so you can betray us, you'll have to deal with me. Destroy that creature, and then I can contact my prince. There you are! This place is... Meridius Light! What is that thing?
Destroy that creature, and then I can contact my prince. There you are! This place is... pretty as light! What is that thing? Outside, and will make contact with my prince. Mathala, appear before your faithful servant. I answer my Earl's summons only to find him with these unworthies. Do you betray me too, Lathan? Never, my prince. We share a common enemy now. Please, talk to them and hear what they have to say. Opposed me wants to speak. If what you say doesn't interest me, I will order Lathan to kill you. And what did the cowardly Prince of Bargains offer you? Was it something so intriguing that you would risk my wrath as well? Speak before my patience wears thin. You would challenge Nocturnal and the Crystal Tower? Since gaining the Heart of Transparent Law, the Tower serves as an extension of her own realm. It amuses me that you want to thwart her plans. She'll destroy you, of course, but I'm still amused. How desperate you must be to offer the very relics I once sought. I will think upon your request. Before you enter Vile's realm, have my Earl contact me again. At that time, I will either help you, or I won't. As is my prerogative. That's it? A maybe? I'll return to Arteum with Darien and tell them what we learned. Meet us there. We failed. The Conclave, despite its best efforts, wasn't able to attune the Resolute Diamonds. We can't use the Diamond Keys to enter the Crystal Tower. But what about you? Were you able to track down Darien and the traitor Lathan? Using the Crystal Tower and Sotha Seal's technique for utilizing life energy? 
then we really are doomed. Without a way into the Crystal Tower, we can't even attempt to challenge Nocturnal, let alone try to stop her. Is that what the Sigic Order is reduced to? Forced to accept help from the same Daedric Princes that got us into this trouble in the first place? Still, getting to the tower won't matter if we can't use the Diamond Keys to get inside. I opposed this line of reasoning when Lathan first suggested it, as bargains with the Princes don't often end well. But what choice do we have? Still, thanks for finding a way forward. While it's a long shot, at least it represents a chance. I'll start making preparations for the Dreaming Cave. In the meantime, Sothasil asked me to send you to his study the moment you arrived. I'm not sure what he wants, but you should tell him about your interactions with the betrayed princess. Something to do with the Crystal Tower, no doubt. Sothasil has never been forthcoming, Though for some reason, it appears that he's taken a liking to you. But tell me, what of Darian and Lathan? Both decided to return? I'm surprised. Meridia's knight has a stake in this, but why would Lathan volunteer to return? It makes no sense. Well, go and talk to Sothasil. Perhaps he can shed light on what we can expect in the Crystal Tower. So the seal waits for you in his study. Tell him about the alliance with the Daedric Princes, and ask him if he knows what we can expect to face inside the Crystal Tower. I'll wait for Darian and Lathan to return. We'll want to send a small force, but leave the majority of the Conclave behind, in case the efforts in the Crystal Tower fail. Leave the details of that to me. I'm not sure how we're going to stop Nocturnal, though. Maybe Sothasil has some ideas.